Welcome to Portals of Perception. We're here with the Portals team and we just turned the recording on because I've received a couple of days ago an email inquiry about the scope of interest, the areas of interest that we are exploring in this uh, Portals project. And I wrote a reply to the inquiry and it felt on to give a bit of a voiceover to this. So I'm just going to bring this on screen and describe the way we develop this map. And so I call this the cosmology of the portals inquiry. There is a central inquiry and a whole cosmology around it. And what we essentially are saying is that the central impulse that we are tracking and, and observing and, and uh, looking to discover the clues and the hints for is this inquiry about the future and where the future arises. And it's very important to ground this as the central sentiment and inquiry because whatever space we are exploring, and in a minute we will describe those other spaces, all, all the spaces around that central inquiry, th that is the central orientation. Whatever it is, we, whatever domain we are opening up, it's not that we are looking to download the everything that's known about this domain. It's more that our central inquiry, as Jerry just said before we turn the recording on, is to track what it is that's emerging anew and transforming within that domain and space. So, for example, we are interested to be in conversations with healers, including pathfinders of all forms, all modalities of healing. Mental healing, healing from distance, holistic healing. And we are looking to engage with people that are pioneering new paradigms in health and well-being and healing. And we're looking to be in exploration with visionaries in all fields, really all fields of life. Again, the premise being that visionaries in different fields, in different spaces, often they will be pioneering their own passion and inquiry. And at the same time, because they are on the edge of themselves and at the edge of their inquiry, they will often capture the zeitgeist of something that's appearing in a broader sense for humanity at large. And we are interested to bring that insight and that frontier into the portal's exploration. And so it's natural that we are also looking to bring conversations with pioneering scientists, people who are pioneering new spaces, new scientific inquiries, and or all scientific inquiries in new ways, in new kind of explorations. And then right next to it, the deep sense makers and map makers and trend decoders who are looking in whatever space, whether it's fashion or business or in the arts and are looking to decode the trend because they are also very attuned to the future that's trying to find its way with us, through us, to facilitate better, wiser, healthier next phase for humanity. Mind you, when we talk about the future, the full spectrum appears, the, the regenerative and the degenerative, and we are interested especially in the regenerative and in the redemptive corrective healing of those elements that are not life-giving and life-supporting. And so naturally, 
all aspects of personal development and catalysts of development in a variety of ways, we're very interested in that because the, the way of those modalities and ways of facilitating in development in, in individuals and in groups are very important in the broader future inquiry and, and right with it are the coaches and the facilitators of new transformation modalities in groups, in teams, in businesses, in not-for-profit, including people who facilitate transformation in large systems, in, in government systems. And then we are interested in the interpreters of what it is that's shifting in culture, including the esoteric storytellers of history, the people that are mapping how humanity has evolved through the ages. We, we are attempting and have done quite a bit of that already in a variety of portals, conversations, and we, we will do more of that. So that's an element that, that is important to integrate to the inquiry of the future. And then naturally, very important, are pioneering community endeavors. What is it that emerging new that enables communal endeavors to arise at this time? How are they addressing the, the kind of challenges that collective and communal endeavors always throughout the ages stumbled on and, and uh, upon? And, and what is it that there are unlocking in terms of the operating system and the agreement structure, behavioral system, and, and so on and so forth that, that enable communities to thrive. And then, what are we finding with new teachers and, and transmitters of knowledge? Because part of the nature of postmodernity in this time has almost been to sacrifice and do away with, with teachers and transmitters of new knowledge. But no, we believe that there are there is a place. Just how we integrate and how we work with teachers may be evolving, and the, 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 both the knowledge that's emergent at this time and the medium with which and through which we transfer and transmit knowledge, that may be transforming. And we are interested to bring voices that will represent that and will demonstrate how they are doing it through their own work. And naturally, right next to it are the, the perception finders, the perceptors, and the meta-theorists and the integrators of emerging domains, both in new domains that are arising, and often new domains are arising now in the integration of domains that used to be completely disconnected. Okay, so the, there is an inquiry about brain science and brain imaging and altered states and meditative and contemplative arts. And likewise, there are many other inter spaces that, that emerged in recent decades. And we're interested in those and in the perception they give rise to, whether it's purely scientific and whether it pushes the, the boundaries of science with, with new theories of pioneering ways of knowing and appreciating the human experience. And we're interested in leadership that's emerging through innovators and entrepreneurs, the way they look at problems, global problems, local problems, societal problems, technological problems, economic problems, and how they bring innovative mindset to solve these, and how they build networks and systems to solve these. We're interested in all that as part of the portal's inquiry. And we are interested in the mystical contemplators, those that are pioneering the theological the meditative, the contemplative, all the way through the universe and evolution and beyond. Because these are no longer separate from the, the concrete 
and the factual. Often those are the people that discover what's emerging at the frontier of the human experience and, and human consciousness. And we want to integrate that as well to the portal's exploration. And we have had many conversations along these lines and we will continue to. And then we're interested to bring pathfinding artists and musicians and storytellers and people who explore new kind of media and bring along them imaginative authors and creators and integrate their voices and their discovery and their creative work into the exploration. And, and what it is that, again, with all of those, rather than sometimes we will do the biographical inquiry with a person because it is so important to catch the, the trace and track that trace to then decipher what's emerging right here and right now but we don't necessarily have the aspiration that we need to download the entire body of knowledge of any one that, that will bring generously the, the voice to the portal's inquiry it is that we want to be honorable and appreciate and honor the work to be able as a as a platforming to then ask and inquire what is it that is emerging a new in the line of work. It, it may be in therapy, it may be in teaching, it may be in the arts. We are interested in what it is that is, that is emerging now at the frontier of all of those experiences. Again, the core premise is the future is emerging with many people, with many experimentations, with many communal endeavors, with many cosmologies, and we are interested to track that. We are interested to track the, the emergent operating system for the future as it is playing out through all those voices. And so activists and influencers are important. They're very important because they are guided and inspired by the impulse of change. And we, we are interested to bring uh, those voices as well. And originators and new field openers, including where we bring people that will create new tools, new language, new grammar to describe what it is that they are pioneering. So with all of those portals of interest, portals of inquiry, what we are seeking is for them to share, to bring voices that are ready to share embodied perceptions. And speak from a place of embodied perceptions and including at the edge of discovering what it is that they are trying to embody next and speak to the new ways of being, new ways of knowing, new ways of doing, new ways of collaborating, new ways of creating. That is the, the core premise, the core impulse of portals, the the recognition, the insight, the perception that if the future is a river that's gushing its way through us humanity, it has many tributaries and, and um, they appear through many voices in many places. So as an example, then maybe I'll bring a couple of comments and reflections uh, from the team. We are not likely to have a conversation with a few different practitioners of the Buddhist, of the different Buddhist schools to go deep, deep, deep into the distinctions between the different um, Buddhist schools. There are wonderful places that do this very well. We are interested to bring these people and people of different faith to ask a different kind of question, which is given those axial traditions and practices and given the evolutionary journey that many of the world traditions and the wisdom traditions been on, what is emerging right now? Where is the frontier of discovery at this time? That is the core impulse, core inquiry for us. And yes, often you do need to have in-depth appreciation of what brought us here. At the same time, 
the, there is a recognition that the future that's emerging now for humanity is not defined by the past. So the, the reason, there is a liberation and liberty that we want to uh, encourage here. That you don't have to be totally immersed in the classics and, and the history of philosophy or the history of science or the history of any domain. It's wonderful if, if, you, if you want to and if you can and if you bring that to the table. We do believe that there are ways to access now authentic, original, important breakthrough perception and ways of knowing and unlocking potential that's not defined by the historic journey of humanity to now, that, that rather there is a new potential that's being unlocked for humanity in a variety of different ways. And, and what we are here in this journey to do and, and to play with is to try to decode that. So rather, think, rather than the idea that we are making and creating the future, which is part of the cosmology of ideas, th there is this flying upside down recognition. The future is revealing itself with us all at the same time. And, and we are revealing the future. The future is revealing itself with us. We want to be in this co-emergent discovery with as many voices, as, as many capacities, as many uh, intuitive uh, capabilities as can be. So that's how I describe the cosmology of the portal's inquiry. And uh, let us see if um, anybody, if you'd like to uh, offer any thoughts about, uh, about this, please. Please, Patrick. Yeah, thank you, Aviv. Um, this is a fantastic chart. You know, when I saw this, it caused all sorts of ideas in me and perceptions, and it was, it was, it's a very stimulating chart to look at and to think about. There were a couple of ideas that came up that really stood out more than the others. And the first is, um, we know just from looking at all the conversations on portals, that a lot of people around the world in every kind of endeavor are feeling that this is a very special time. It's a very special time in the history of the planet. There's something that is emerging, that is new, and that has so much potential inside of it. It's like there is a new cycle of evolution happening. And there's all this potential coming from the future. And I don't know how to describe it coming from the universe. And so when I looked at this chart, I realized, you know, the future does not care how we use this potential. It really doesn't. It's like this potential is coming at us, coming out of all of humanity, this future. And we can use this any way we want. In the past, people may have felt that, wow, I'm feeling something they might describe as spiritual. And it might get translated into some kind of dogma or religion in a very narrow way. But that's not happening here. It's like this is just opening up the possibility of what can happen with um, humanity. And so I just see, it, it just struck me that, you know, I don't think the universe cares how we use this potential. It's there for every single person to use and express in any way we choose. And then the second idea that came to me, and it was a little bit unfortunate at first, I looked at this and I thought, I don't see myself in this chart. Like, I don't have an identity built up around myself that I would put to anything here. And then I thought about that, and I thought, that that's really a mistake, because we're not trying to narrow um, where the future arises. And it's how you think about yourself and how you think about what you do with your life. But when you said that we're looking for pioneers, you know, that really caught me, because every single person is a pioneer in something. We can all be pioneers 
in whatever way we're living our life. You know, people come and people take on projects and they might feel challenged in something and maybe they feel up against something they can't get through. But I think any time a person comes up against something in themselves that's stopping them and they decide they want to break through and find something new, that that is then in that moment of pioneering, I think we're all included in this chart. The future will find us and we could all express this future in many, many different ways. It's very fluid. And so I just wanted to put that in that if someone may look at this and think, I'm not an influencer, I'm not a leader, I'm, I'm not a trendsetter or a pathfinder, it's, it's, it's really beyond that. I think every single person is a pioneer in, in the way they live their life and how they can express the potential that's coming from the future. Thank you, Patrick. See, I, I was listening to what you're saying and I decided I should update that last uh, frame, originators and new field openers in becoming human. All of us, we are becoming, as humans, as you said, we are all integrated in our inseparable part, potentially, uh, for the future. Yeah. So, so yes, thank you. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> I would like to add to that, that uh, question in the center is where the future arises or where does the future arise? And in looking at these uh, categories, the, this whole cosmology, you can see that at least in great part, it comes through us. It does. It comes through the human. And, um, and, but how does he come through the human? And I'd say in, in all of these, all of these examples, it shows people who are reaching for something, always kind of reaching for something just beyond where they are. And, and when we do that, when we reach, we usually get an answer somewhere, some, some, at some point down the road. And so, for portals to be touching base and tracking people who are doing that all over the planet um, is a way not only to give that exchange so that this person over here can get the peace from that person over there and, and maybe help take their next step in, in what they're reaching to in any of these categories. But as a, but the, but the future cosmology can also come together in a place um, just as a raising of the consciousness, which, which helps manifest, which helps what is emerging, uh, emerge maybe perhaps faster or stronger or more potently. So, uh, I, yeah, I think it's a fascinating, uh, uh, idea of this cosmology and, and we as humans can look at what the other humans are up to and share that and, uh, and keep, hopefully keep it moving forward. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Peter. So the, the three insights uh, emerging for me from what you're offering um, are first, indeed, it, the future is, is mostly appearing through us. And secondly, it's appearing in between us, in the relationship, in the conversations, in the dialogues. And this is why we are so interested to bring people from different spaces. I mean, it's, it's probably not the wisest marketing strategy Marketing 101 says, find yourself a narrow niche and focus on that. We are saying we are not in a narrow niche. We're, we're in the broadest possible niche. We're interested in the future, and it's inclusive of all these voices. And, and therefore, the third point is we are inviting anyone to find us and make a recommendation of who are the voices and who are the people we should bring to a conversation, individually and collectively with others. Because it, it is in through these conversations that we get to fulfill this brief of, of being available as a place, as a portal where the future can find us. Uh, please. Who else want to? Yes, I would like to add uh, that it is a, a very rich map that... Um, it reminds me of a puzzle where the different pieces, when put together, 
create the picture of what is arising and what is emerging. And um, in order to be able to trace a holistic view of what is newly appearing, we needed to invite in the conversation all these many voices of people uh, that search, of people that are um, <clears throat> not um, not uh, locked or fixed in uh, traditional uh, narratives, and that they try to discover and be um, and uh, explore the different pathways of um, human upgrade, we can say. And uh, it's the same also, for instance, if we want to research uh, a historic period that was transformative in the past, for instance, the Renaissance, then we wouldn't limit ourselves in the research, let's say, of religion or of philosophy or of what the alchemists were doing or what Shakespeare did and the uh, theater writers or the artists or um, uh, the, the different things that were happening in society and uh, in um, the political and economic developments and the development of the commerce or of the people who were the explorers. But all that make what the Renaissance was, all these different pathways and inroads. So in the same way, I think it's a very promising and hopeful picture that can be painted when we bring all these voices together and we make an amazing choir of the new, uh, of the people that are uh, the agency of newness, we could say. And... Uh, because when we watch the news, we can have a very, very dark and dim uh, picture of the future, the dystopic future, or think of extinction. But when we bring these voices together, then the symphony they create, uh, it's uh, very different. And uh, I think uh, it's great that they exist, these voices, and they exist. We just uh, need to find them. and. Uh, listen to what they have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Kiriki. And um, the two salient insights I'm, I'm internalizing from um, what you offered, the first being the, the sense of um, the liberation that occurs through diversity, because we need all those many different voices because it is you never know what another voice will unlock in you that you never knew was in you until such time as you got to be in conversation with that other voice so that's that's why it is important for us to expand the reach and include new voices through and inside all these spaces and the the second salient insight I'm I'm internalizing from you is, yeah, could it be that we are in the beginning of a, a new renaissance kind of a time? And uh, that is certainly part of the intuition that inspired and is inspiring the Portals Project, the sense that through the struggle and the strife and the pain and the confusion and the global chaos, there is a prospective renaissance, this time potentially emerging globally in and through many of us. So, thank you. I come in here because it's a very thought-provoking chart to see all those sort of territories laid out as the consideration for how the future is starting to show itself. And I, and I kind of made me wonder what, you know, is getting any handle on, on, on what's behind all of this? Because, um, you know, if we were doing this exercise a hundred years ago, there'd be different things in that uh, those boxes. You know, there'd be like psychology or something, or um, scientific research. And the human being up to now has really been trying to progress its own ability to be intelligent. And um, 
you, you know, into the technological revolution, for example. And, and I was also noticing what's missing from that chart today. Like you don't see robots on there or you don't see artificial intelligence, which is where the most of the human race is thinking a better solution could be found. And really, you know, the sense in all of those dynamics on this on this chart is is, is almost like a shift, as, as you said, Aviv. You said this is not based upon what has occurred before. And why is it not based upon what has occurred before? Why is it sort of radically different? And I think one of the features of the radical difference is that up to now, the human race has tried to invest all its intelligence into things outside of us like technology, but all of these are as if we're sort of acquiescing to a kind of more inner intelligence coming through or a, um, a more sort of in ways of going on that are, uh, are not to do with how we can work it out and control it, but how we can work with somehow the existing intelligence of our own design or the way that the universe works. And this seems to be the radical difference between what the world has tended to focus upon to how now we're trying to almost sense our way into different dynamics of going on and intelligence that will lead to a very different softer, more perhaps integrated result of which we are in the early days of it. So it's Thank really you. quite a, something seeing all these dynamics laid out. Yeah. Diagram. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you, Jerry. You, the, the salient message I'm internalizing is the significance of intelligence as a, as a search for intelligence, search to become intelligent, uh, and how much in what you're describing, this, this shift that's underway has about it the, the integration of the interior and the exterior. So we are looking for new ways of interior and exterior integrated knowing. And you said we, we focused on the telescope and the microscope looked outside. How can we use the internal telescope and microscope to activate the, the capacities to see within ourselves all that's emerging at this time and find a way to translate and decode that in ways that enable us to communicate with others. So uh, this, it's insufficient to just go into an altered state and lose the capacity to communicate with others because we, th there is something about what's, what's in the interior space and then what's in the space between us. All that is part of where the future is finding access at this time. There, there, there is a sense that uh, it's vibrantly alive. It's not, the future is not emerging where there is something inert that's no longer alive. The future is emerging with what is birthing a new on the verge of unknown. That's why the, there is always a, a sense of, it, it doesn't have yet a definition. It's just forming to find definition. That is the, the inquiry sense of being in the, the vortex of the future that's emerging with humanity. When looking at this picture, what is catching my attention is that it seems an eye and the, the core is where the future arises, as if it's a drawing power that draws our attention in and around which the different domains are placed. And together with this eye that draws in and that we can surrender to, like you see something in someone's eyes and you surrender because there is something there that needs to pair up or there is some kind of revelatory instance there. At the same time, there is the word cosmology. So 
there you see the outer world as well. And it seems this, that this where the future arises seems like a channel through which we can walk, discover, and that we can surrender to, to find out more about human life, ourselves, what, what catches our attention, what, what causes us to feel our passion. That's what this whole array causes in me at this moment. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. So the, the theme I'm internalizing from what you offered, and, and I'm going to integrate to this something that, that Patrick said earlier, we are not looking only for the experts, quote-unquote experts, because the core premise is actually nobody is an expert for the future because the future is, is emerging in you. So we, we are all in the discovery frontier. And into that discovery frontier, we all show up as humans. And so, I mean, what you're describing is the sense of including yourself, including oneself, by way of, um, as, as um, Patrick earlier said, I, I couldn't find myself here because I don't know that I'm quote-unquote quote, quote, expert to any of these spaces. But then you said I'm realizing I'm a human being. And therefore, we are, each one of us, we are equipped to be part of the inquiry of the future. So in light of that, let me also uh, alert you that we are soon going to be launching additional conversation opportunities because part of the premise of portals is also to not just bring expert voices which we are interested to bring, we are also interested to cultivate a network of discovery by conversation, a communal network of conversation and, and we are in dialogue about a portals cafe and portals pods and all sorts of new emergent possibilities where people can find each other and be in this inquiry by cultivating shared space. So stay tuned and come visit uh, the portals regularly to catch the latest and do uh, pay attention uh, to the events page and make sure your email is added to our newsletter updates so you can be up to date with the latest. Uh, we'd love to have your voice as part of the conversation as we together explore the future that's emerging with us. See you soon. Along with our website at portalsofperception.org, Portals is also available on YouTube and on all podcast platforms, as well as social media. You can become an active member and join the conversation in community events. And you can help us get the word out by liking this content and by sharing it with your friends.